Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today, even though it is almost like the middle of September, I'm filming this on September 13th, I decided that I wanted to tell you guys some of the favorite things that I've read so far this year. I like to talk, so let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is The Vol 1 by John Mars. I love this. This is a thriller. Um, the basic premise of this is there is this thing called a match your DNA where you send your DNA in and it will find you the perfect match. And we follow five point of views in this. The first one is Mandy. Her husband, I believe, left her for his match. Um, so she's kind of down on her luck. She wants to find someone that could be her perfect match. Also, the next one we follow is probably my favorite point of view and his name is Christopher and he is a serial killer. It's so interesting to be in his mind and I really really enjoyed that. And um, the next one we follow is Jade and her match is all the way around the world in Australia because this takes place in the UK and then we have Nick and he is engaged to his fiance and she decides like let's take the test to like see if we really are meant to be together. And then our last point of view is Ellie, my girl. She is a very strong independent woman and she has a hard time letting people in. So she decides if I try to find my match will I be able to trust them and let somebody in? I love this a lot. As you can see, I have some tabs. I will say, <laughs> on the first page, it's our reader's favorite thing to hear that someone let out a long breath that they didn't realize they had been holding. And when I read that, let me tell you guys, my eyes rolled all the way into the back of my head. But other than that, I love this, man. It was just like, so compulsively readable like I kept wanting to turn the page I loved it so much um at the end of every single chapter there was a cliffhanger and you just like man I want to find out what happens next and it's just oh man it's so good I made my co-worker Mariah read this and she loved it as well this also is going to be made into a Netflix series so I'm really excited to see how that plays out and like when casting is announced <sighs> Let me tell you, my actual favorite character is not one of the main five. It's a side character, and the casting for Alex had better be how I picture him. And honestly, I picture Alexander Skarsgård, so, like, I guess we'll see. I don't know. Okay, so that's the only actual novel I have to talk about, and the rest are manga. So the first two manga I'm going to talk about are slice of life manga. So the first one I want to talk about, I read volumes one through four last year and I've read volumes five through eight this year and volume nine is already pre-ordered. And y'all, if you watched my book haul, you know I love this series and that would be Komi Can't Communicate by Tomohito Oda. So this follows our main character, my girl Komi. She has a communication disorder and she has the worst time talking to people. It freaks her out and like I am a very shy person and I see a lot of my old self in Comey. You know people trying to talk to you in class or like getting called on like freaked me out and I hated it. It gave me severe anxiety. So I understand where she's coming from. I wasn't as bad as her but I do see a lot of myself in her and this series basically involves Comey. One day she is in a classroom alone with our man Tanato, and they start talking on the chalkboard. You can see right there and they have a great conversation and he decides, you know what, I'm going to help you make a hundred friends and it's just him helping her make friends and something that's going to happen between these two and I cannot wait for it to happen. Man, I love this series so much. I like I don't have words. Like I uh, I love it. Okay, the next one I want to talk to you guys about is Yuzaki Chan Wants to Hang Out by Take. This, like I said, is a slice of life like Komi and it follows our main character whose name I can never remember because oh, Sakurai Shinichi and he is just a lone wolf. He loves to hang out by himself. And then we have Yuzaki-chan. Um, and she always comes up to him and is like, Senpai, what are you doing? What are we going to do? Let's hang out. Woo! And he's like, whatever. 
he's so annoyed by it but then it just goes through them hanging out it's so cute you can tell that he's starting to break down his walls and actually enjoy hanging out with someone which I really really like for him I love that they get into some like weird like shenanigan type situations and you're just like wow if someone walked up to them they would think the complete wrong thing but I love them. They bicker a lot. And it's just, it's so cute. Volume 4 comes out in December. I definitely recommend. I really, really love it. The next thing I want to talk about, and I found out about this through Shay from Shay Geeks Out. I'll leave her channel linked down below. And that would be Living Room Matsunaga-san. And I have a funny story, and Chris is going to hate me for telling this, but um, one time I was telling him about it, and he was like, what's a Matsunaga-san? Like, what is that? I'm like, it's him. He just likes to sit in the living room. So we follow our main character, whose name I don't know, oh, Miko. We follow our main character, Miko, and due to family circumstances, she moves into her uncle's boarding house. And just so happens, we have Matsunaga-san. He's kind of like the kind of like in charge and like helps the uncle while the uncle's away. And the reasons why it's called a living room Matsunaga-san is because a homeboy loves to sit in the living room. This is an age gap romance. I need it to happen. I need the romance, but I have like the first two volumes physically and then I started to read it digitally. I think I've only read the first four so far, but man, I love this series. I need to get more of the volumes and just start over again and binge it when I have time but man I love it 100% recommend if you are okay with age gap if you don't like that's probably not, this is probably not going to be your thing but regardless I do recommend it I really really enjoy it a lot okay sorry if I moved around I had to go get something but um living your Matsuranaga san is by Kiko Ishi Iwashida forgot to mention that yes okay so then what I forgot is something that I cannot believe I forgot because I love this and that is Perfect World by Raya Ruga. This follows our main character Komana, this lovely lady here, and she works for a design company and then we have Itsuki who works for an architecture firm. He was her high school love, her first crush, and she goes to the dinner meeting with the design firm that she works for and the architecture firm that he works for and they get to talking he leaves she finds out oh he's paralyzed and he has a spinal cord injury and then oh man they start talking more being like friends and then it just goes through the hardships of her wanting to be with him him not wanting to be with anyone because he doesn't want anyone to have to deal with his injury and it does talk a lot about his injury and everything he has to go through with that this is a hard read but man I love it so much it's gonna be one of my favorite series of all time like yes I believe that yes I I already made my best friend read the first two volumes and she also I believe loved it Kayla can you comment down below and confirm if she does it we might not be friends anymore sorry okay now we have reached the 18 and over section of this video and the first thing I want to talk about is Sweat and Soap and this is by Kanetsu Yamada. Sweat and Soap follows our main character Sako and our girl has had body odor problems for her whole life and now she works in the finance department of her favorite soap company. Man this soap makes her feel confident. She it helps with her body odor and she loves it so one day she's in the lobby she's looking at the new spring line then our boy Kataro comes up to her because he smelled a smell that he loves and it comes out that smell is coming from our girl and he's like I need some inspiration I love your smell can I come smell you every single day for the next week and she's like yeah I guess sure and now they you know they're becoming friends there's a relationship some sexy times happen in this and man does a girl girl being me love this definitely recommend if you're over 18 okay the seventh and last thing that I have to talk about this series makes me giggle 
I love it so much and it is not gonna be for everyone it's so weird and that would be Yari Chin Bitch Club and this is by Agaretsu Tanaka yo this wall is our main character Takanashi Tono this is he he is great love him and he <laughs> goes to this all boys school in the mountain he's a transfer student and come to find out you have your first year you have to be in a club like yes you have to do it no ifs ands or buts and he's like well I'm not really great at sports ball I because photography is going to be easy let me join the photography club oh man my boy <laughs> The photography club, what photography? You know what I'm saying? Because the photography club actually does sexual services for the student body. It's a wild time. My favorite character of probably the year is this, Yukashima. He is a sweet angel baby bean and he deserves the world. I am rooting from him so hard, rooting for him. Man, I love him so much. Also, we have a weird character in here. This he. His name, I believe, is Yuri. <sighs> I'm just sorry. I just looked through this and I giggled. I... Yuri, my guy, he just makes sounds, man. He is the smartest person out of the whole school. He gets the highest marks, but he speaks in sounds. And, like, I understand that. Sometimes I just like to make sounds, too. So... Yes, if you just want something that's not too serious, like you just want some fun, recommend this, man. I love it so much. Those are all the seven things that I've really, really loved and adored this year. If you would want to read any of these or if you had, let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. And if you have any recommendations you think I would love based on these seven things, let me know. So, if you liked this video, feel free to like it, and if you want to see more of me and my shenanigans and my hot mess cell, please subscribe. We'll all have fun. We'll be a family. It's going to be great. So, I will see you all in a new video.